Hi everyone, for this question, given the discrete random variable x has cumulative distribution function Bf here, defined as the following formula where x is equal to 1, 2, 3, 4, and 5. For the first question, find the probability where x is less than 3. So when x is less than 3 means what do you need here is x equals to 1, x equals to 2, and x equals to 3. So it will be equivalent to cumulative of 3. So when you have cumulative for x equals to 3, here it includes x equals to 1, 2, 3. So f3 will go into substitute 3 inside the formula here will be 2 plus 3 over 7. So the probability will be 5 over 7. So for question B, if we want to prove x equals to 4, so we can accumulate up to 4 and then we minus accumulate for the random variable up to 3. So when you accumulate your probability up to 4, here means it involves 1, 2, 3, 4. So what I need here is 4 only, so we can minus off accumulate 1, 2, 3. So accumulate up to 1, 2, 3 means F3. So for F4, we put in the formula here, it will be 2 plus 4 over 7 minus 2 plus 3 over 7. So it will give you 1 over 7, shown as the questions. Then for question C, we're going to find the probability distribution for x. So this is our small f, or this is can be written as px equals to x. So what we're given here is big F here, cumulative function. So we, are, we want to find probability distribution function. So to find this, we can draw it into the table. So where we have our x here is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 stated in the equations here and our cumulative probability it will be equals to where x equals to 1 it will be 2 plus 1 which is 3 over 7 when x equals to 2 it will be 4 over 7 when x equals to 3 3 plus 2 it will be 5 over 7 when x equals to 4 it will be 4 plus 2 6 over 7 when it is 5, 5 plus 2, 7 over 7. So when we want back our probability distribution function or PFX here, what we need to do is we're going to minus back from the right hand side. As we know, when we're doing cumulative distribution function, we are adding from the left to the right so that we can get maximum 1 here. So when you want back its own probability one by one, so we're going to minus back, reverse the process. So 1 minus 6 over 7, we get 1 over 7. 6 over 7 minus 5 over 7, also 1 over 7. And then 5 over 7 minus 4 over 7, you will get 1 over 7. 4 over 7 minus 3 over 7 will be 1 over 7. So cumulative before this will get 0. So the last one is 3 over 7 minus 0, it will give you 3 over 7. So from here we can see our function, probability distribution function will be, we have two kinds of answer. The first one is 3 over 7 where x is equal to 1. Then another type of answer is 1 over 7 where x equals to 2, 3, 4, 5. Then don't forget we have to put 0 for otherwise. To denote that we don't have other random variable besides this one two three four five so that's all for this thank you for watching